These are two common house leeks, an example of a xerophytic plant. Xerophytic plants are plants which have specialised features to help them survive in dry climates where there's not a lot of water. The common house leek is one such plant. First of all, as you can see, the leaves are quite thick and fleshy. The reason why the leaves are quite thick is because they're filled with a pectic gel and intracellular fluid. This helps to reduce water loss because the volume to surface area ratio becomes smaller. Another adaption they have, also on the leaves, is a waxy cuticle which if you ever get one and you feel along the leaves you can feel it and maybe also hear it the thick waxy cuticle covers the whole leaf with it being waxy it provides a waterproof barrier on top of the leaf also with it being quite a thick waxy cuticle less transpiration will occur on the underside of the leaf as the water molecules have a lot further to travel. Also, on the leaves, what you can see on the underside is that they're quite hairy. You can see fine little hairs around the edge of some of them. and those hairs run right underneath the leaf. The, hell, the hairs help to reduce water loss by trapping a layer of moist air underneath the leaf where the majority of the stomata roll via which transpiration occurs. By trapping a layer of moist air beneath the leaf it reduces the concentration gradient between the outside of the leaf and the inside of the leaf. Another feature, as with other plants found in dry hot environments such as the silver sword, the lower leaves of the plant die off but they do not fall off. With them dying off, it means they do not take up resources that the rest of the plant will need, such as water and nutrients. But, by keeping them there, it allows air to be trapped in all the gaps, which again, will help to reduce overall water loss from the lower part of the plant. The layer of air will also help to regulate temperatures, as if there is a high temperature, more transpiration will occur. But thanks to the regulation, it will lower the temperature around the base of the plant so less trans so again less transpiration will occur at the bottom of the plant